Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. The Texas Longhorns continuing to chip away on the 2024 high school recruiting trail, landing one of the more coveted defensive backs in the 2024 class in Kobe Black. And with all the noise regarding the transfer portal, really happy to see the Texas Longhorns continue to build that high school class in the 2024 cycle. I'm going to talk a little bit about Kobe Black, talk about a few other flip candidates for the Texas Longhorns, also add a few guys that they're targeting in the transfer portal. Really uh, excited about how Coach Sark and the staff are going about building this roster, building this depth chart. Right now in this era, you see a lot of teams kind of throw high school recruiting to the wayside and try to go and flip their roster and overturn their roster in the transfer portal. And although the transfer portal is certainly a good way to supplement and build a roster, it shouldn't be the bones of your roster. And you're seeing the Texas Longhorns bring in very good high school recruiting classes and then use the transfer portal to kind of supplement that roster and find positions that they want to build that talent experience in. Kobe Black, a phenomenal addition. Really excited to talk about him. Before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys. A shout out to the Texas Longhorn fans. This has been a program and a team we've been talking about a lot in the 2023 season on the field. Also have covered extensively on the recruiting trail. You guys continue to show a ton of love. We can't thank you guys enough. If you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into Kobe Black. A few things that jump off the paper in terms of what I love about Kobe Black. One, he's versatile. I mean, he's listed as a safety, top five safety in the country. This is a guy that has that frame, has that athleticism to play the cornerback role as well. You can walk him up into the box. You can play him at the boundary cornerback spot. Certainly has the range to play that free safety role as well. And you look at all the young talent in this Texas secondary guys like Malik Muhammad, Derek Williams playing phenomenal football in that secondary. You're adding a guy in Kobe black that just get him into the program has ideal frame, ideal athleticism, and let's see where he kind of slots in on that depth chart. Another thing I like two way player. And you guys know when I'm talking high school prospects, love to see these guys in the defensive back room play two ways and play that wide receiver position because it helps with the ball skills. And the number one problem you see with a lot of young cornerbacks, cornerbacks in general at the college football level, when that football's in the air, they might have all the athleticism to mirror receiver and be in that inside pocket. But then when the football's in the air, they panic, pass interferences, not playing the football the right way. When you have that experience as being a wide receiver, you have a little bit better sense of ball skills and going up and playing the football. Kobe Black, checks that box. So you're getting a guy that's versatile, that's been a two-way player at the high school level. And again, he's a box checker in terms of the athleticism, size, speed that you want as a cornerback slash safety in that defensive backfield. Taking a look at this Texas class in 2024, I mean, it's coming together and you're seeing Texas really finish strong. I think on-field success and the move to the SEC certainly helping that, but you got one of the top wide receivers in the country in Ryan Wingo, one of the top edge rushers in Colin Simmons. I think he's from what I've seen from him at Duncanville, I don't know if I'm taking any other edge rusher in this class than Colin Simmons. Obviously, five-star Brandon Baker, Jarrett Gibson, loaded with top 100 talent. But what I want to talk about is Texas trending for another five-star on the trail, and that's Xavier Phil Same Again, from the state of Texas, the Florida Gators have been absolutely bleeding in this 2024 class. It sounds like the Longhorns are making some serious strides with a guy like Xavier Phil Same, and he's a dude that... You talk about, we talked about versatility with Kobe Black, a lot of versatility in terms of Xavier Phil Sam's game as well. You're going to see him line up around the line of scrimmage. You're going to see him line up as that kind of center field safety. He's much more of a safety body. He's very physical when tackling. He's a guy that you talk about the versatility in the defensive back room and being able to walk guys up into the box, play them at the deep safety role. He's that guy that you can do whatever you want with them, and he's going to be an impact player on the football field. Kobe Black, Xavier Phil Sam coming in in the same class. You're feeling really good about that young defensive back room when you already have guys like Malik Muhammad and Derek Williams already in this program making some serious strides as true freshmen. Young but very talented defensive back room for the Texas Longhorns. Now, Texas is doing such a good job on the high school class. You look at this roster, and yeah, they're going to lose a lot of NFL talent like any other top program in the country does to the NFL draft, they don't necessarily need to go attack the transfer portal as hard as other programs, right? I'm kind of putting Texas from a personnel standpoint, from a talent standpoint, 
into the likes of Alabama and Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State. That's how talented this roster is. And so you look around at this roster, they don't need to go out and get 15, 20 guys in the transfer portal and kind of overhaul this roster. They just need to go out and supplement. And I think that's where you're seeing a lot of Texas successes. That culture is being built. A lot of that culture lacks in those other programs that are consistently having 20, 30 new faces come into the program through the portal every single year. That being said, there are some guys that will certainly help this Texas Longhorns team heading into 2024, and they're making some real traction. They're going big game hunting, right? They don't need to settle for guys. There's not a lot of guys in the transfer portal that would come in and start on this Texas team or even really make that Texas team that better. That's just where Texas is from a dead chart standpoint. That being said, there are a few targets that I want to talk about. First guy I want to talk about sticking in that cornerback room, a guy like Andrew Makuba transferring from Clemson, the number one safety in the transfer portal, another guy that you can do all sorts of things with. And as an NFL draft guy who follows kind of some of these prospects, Andrew McCooper probably would have been an early day three, even maybe late day two pick, decides to come back to school for another year, but wants to change the scenery. When healthy, Andrew McCooper is a difference maker in the back end. And very similar to how we talk about Xavier Phil saying can do a lot of different things. Walk him up in the box. He's really good in man coverage. One of the better cover, uh, cover safeties in all of college football. This would be a massive asset for especially a guy like Andrew McCuba, who's played three years as a starter on Clemson, one of the best defenses in the country, to kind of supplement a ton of young talent, right? To get a leader back there in Andrew McCuba to play alongside guys like Malik Muhammad and Derek Williams, Kobe Black, Xavier Filsane. That's a really intriguing idea for Texas Longhorn fans. Another guy that I'm keeping an eye on, sticking on the defensive side of the football, Trey Moore. And I'm sure Texas fans are familiar with Trey Moore insane production at UTSA. I mean, I believe he had 14 and a half sacks in 2023, watched a little bit of his film in elite pass rusher, has phenomenal closing speed, is good against a run. I believe almost had 20 tackles for a loss during his time in 2023 at UTSA. This is a guy that's a difference maker coming off the edge and you kind of pair him up with some of the studs that they have in the front seven that, again, losing a lot of talent, and this is maybe a position that they want to supplement and add some experience and add some playmaking. Trey Moore certainly would be a phenomenal addition from the state of Texas, but he's getting recruited from the likes of Alabama and Ohio State. One of the more coveted prospects in the transfer portal and the last player we want to go to here, Matthew Golden, transferring from Houston, was a Houston native, went to Houston for his first two years. One of the best wide receivers and all around wide receivers, I would say, in the transfer portal. And you don't see many wide receivers like Matthew Golden's caliber hit the transfer portal. You saw one like last year in A.D. Mitchell, Texas able to scoop him up, potentially some, some shoes to fill in the wide receiver room with potentially A.D. Mitchell, Xavier Worthy, J.T. Sanders, Jordan Whittington going to the NFL draft. Matthew Golden, two years of starting experience at Houston, one at the Power 5 level as they moved into the Big 12. This would be a really nice addition. Again, young talent in the wide receiver room. Guy like John Tate Cook you're excited about, but you want to bring in a guy in Matthew Golden who you know what you're getting. He's done it at the Power 5 level, and he's played at an extremely high level. Matthew Golden, another target to watch. And overall takes, like you're, you're looking at a bunch of other programs, and we all know what programs we're kind of talking about, that have to go to the transfer portal and go grab 20, 25 new faces because they don't recruit the high school level to the extent they should. Texas doesn't need to do that. They need to go in and kind of identify some serious playmakers that are going to be difference makers on this Texas roster. There's not that many available in the transfer portal. So a guy like Matthew Golden, Trey Moore, Andrew McCubbin, those would be the names. But this Texas team from a personnel standpoint is in such a good spot that you're just going to see Coach Sark and the staff identify those few guys that would be difference makers and target those guys. Really excited to see how Coach Sark opens this transfer portal up. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. Again, if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later.